Hi there and welcome back. On this video I'm gonna talk more about what are my plans for the coming summer. I got a list of things that I'm gonna do with my boat. I'm filming this at my home because there's not that much to do on the boat right now. It's dry docked and covered with tarp and it's pretty cold out there. So that's why I'm home. Let's get started. So you probably seen some of the videos I already did during this winter. One of the news are for the way I'm gonna film stuff next summer. So this is my drone. It's the uh, DJI Mavic. Those who are into this kind of stuff already know what this little thing is capable of. It's not the best drone camera over there but the thing is it folds down pretty neatly and it has some great intelligent stuff flight modes and that kind of stuff so it's, I think it's gonna be perfect for me to do cool aerial videos while sailing with my boat that's the first thing the second thing you probably seen my videos about the heater that I'm building on my boat so that's gonna be one thing that I'm I'm gonna do the third part of that video once I get the boat out of the dry dock and test it on while saying mm, wood cast stove that I built uh, I already ordered one more of those a bigger one uh, so that I can use it to I'm, I want to do a kind of a water heater on my boat also with using those wood cast stoves and burning the pellets I think most of most of boats of the size of 24 feet doesn't have a water heater but I'm gonna put one or try to build one on my boat so that's gonna be one exciting thing the next thing I also talk about one of the earlier videos that I'm this summer I'm gonna put my boat the motor using 48 volts constantly until now it has been using 24 volts and I had the uh, turbo boost mode for 48 volts but it was hard because I didn't have the charger for 48 volts but now I already got this so this is a 48 volt uh, solar panels charger controller so I'm gonna put this on and kind of make a switch for the um, for the uh, the cords coming from the panels so I can use the panels to charge this and charge the uh, the batteries that use the motor and also so when they are full, I'm gonna switch it to charge the uh, 24 volt system, the battery that I got for that. That uses the lights and that kind of stuff too. That's gonna be that. But the really exciting news is that I'm gonna I'm gonna build another electric outboard motor. I got this idea because I have here on this picture you can see the um, my two outboard motors that I have. This was the first one that I did, but the propeller on this one was too small and there was no room to to change the bigger one on here. So I didn't get a, enough torque out of it, so the motor was kind of a underpowered here. That's why I built the bigger one that I'm using right now. Uh, but I still got this kind of a shell of, of outboard motor shell that doesn't have a motor but it has the uh, attachment for the motor that is inside here but I got the uh, inflatable dinghy last summer so the plan is to put a motor electric motor on that so I was looking for those trolling motors but I wanna I wanted to have a 24 volts and I just like to have it to to move a little bit faster than the uh, the normal 12 volt outboard motors, those uh, trolling motors, can push you. So I remembered I have this 
already inside the boat. It was just put on the uh, cargo bay under there, just in case if something happens, if the, mm, the propeller or something breaks on the uh, the bigger motor, I could just change the uh, the electric motor part. Took it out, four bolts, nuts, get it out and put it inside the smaller one and still get a pretty decent uh, speed out of that. So, I just bought a few days ago, I bought, bought, bought this motor. It's a one kilowatt, uh, 48 volt motor. That is a, it's a lot smaller than the one that I have now. Still gives you a pretty decent output. And because it's 48 volts, I could still use the, uh, the smaller outboard motor if something happens to my bigger ones, if, if the propeller breaks and the motor burns out or something, I could swap the complete motor to my motor well and push my sailboat with that. I'm pretty sure that my bigger motor is not gonna, not gonna fail on me, but in the meantime I have the smaller one and I'm gonna put that on my dinghy and get a lot of <laughs> lot of power out of that and because my dinghy it also needs a battery so that's why I have this big list of stuff that I ordered from Aliexpress China is a great place to to order some cheap and good also electronics so I bought this This is a 24 volt battery. It uses those uh, 18650 batteries, those lithium ion batteries cells. And um, yeah, it has 20 amp hours, which is not that much, but if I'm using the motor, it's in the maximum amp, amp, amps for the, uh, the current for the motor. The smaller one is, I think, 25 or 30 or something like that so with the half speed I could still go around an hour or something but man, I think the uh, like a quarter of speed is gonna be enough for me just cruising with the boat but I'd like to have it like phew, the occasional boost if I like so I can yeah so the idea is to have some kind of a uh, transportation while I get to the shore, to the dock, to a new place. Normally you have a kind of a foldable bicycles, small bicycles on your boat. But well, I got all this electricity and batteries and that kind of stuff, so why not have a transportation that uses electricity? So I came up this, with this idea of using the same battery that uses that I use on the outboard for the dinghy to build a kick scooter. What do you call it? Well, kind of a kick bike scooter thing. You can buy them pretty cheap, and or not well, they're not that cheap on online. But you have a lot of options over there. The good ones, I think, they cost like around one thousand or something, like here in Finland. But since I'm already using a different battery. There's no use to uh, to buy a bike and then have a different battery over there and have to charge it somehow while on the boat. So I decided it would be good to have the same battery. Already the wheel with a motor, it's a hub motor inside the wheel. And it has the controller and uh, the throttle stick and this kind of stuff. So that's now under construction. You can see it right over here. I don't have the battery yet, so I just have the, uh, the front wheel. It's gonna be front front wheel drive, and there's the controller and yeah, that kind of stuff. So they are waiting for the uh, battery, and then I can assemble it and tweak it out and test it out. So let's move on. Also exciting times for next summer is the new wind generator 
it's gonna be like this but with the white wings it's gonna be it should be a lot quieter it doesn't produce maybe that much amps but because I didn't use my old well I still got the, uh, the wind generator because it was uh, it was a noisy and it vibrated a lot and I didn't like the uh, noise but these vertical ones should be pretty quiet yeah it's been kind of a like a uh, Christmas for me for the couple last weeks I've been ordering a lot of stuff and uh, getting getting new toys and tools what you call them so yeah I did order I already have it I have a 3d printer let's go to our kitchen over here here it is it's pretty cheap it's kind of the cheapest good ones over there this one costs around 200 200 dollars in US but in here in Finland you have to order it across the seas and all the taxis and that kind of stuff so it ended up costing me like over 300 euros here's also some filaments I just got the uh, FedEx guy brought them to me what I'm gonna do with the printer here's one part I'm gonna show it over here well this is kind of a what do you call this kind of locking device for the tiller and this is the original part it came with the boat and it broke the first day I bought the boat it broke and I tried to glue it glue it together with this really strong like a kind of a liquid metal stuff twice and it still broke it lasts like a week and then it broke the one thing I'm gonna do is uh, take the measurement out of this and make a 3d model on my on my computer and then print it out and do different kind of settings test it out because you cannot buy this this is the original part from the 70s there's nobody making this anymore so it's a really cool thing to use something new technology to to build something that is not done anymore and fix the bolts yes this is one thing the other thing is this is the uh, throttle uh, potentiometer that is that I've used so far on my boat on my motor I've been using this so it's like here is it's zero zero and here's the full power so I'm gonna configure my controller my motor controller to do and, and yeah I had I had a different switch for the uh, reverse so when I go forward I go this when I wanna go reverse I had to pull it like this and then pull on up and then do it like this and now it's gonna control the reverse speed but now I can do it so that it's in the center it's neutral and this way forward this way oh well, yeah this way forward this is neutral and this is reverse but because the range the angle that is doing this is so little the plan is to print some gears here here and make it well gear it down so that I can have a I'm gonna print also a nice handle this is gonna be probably up in the uh, solar panel frame so it's not on the way when, it's, when it was down there it's a lot easier to use it over there and I'm also gonna put the new display that's gonna display the amps that I'm using from there and I'm gonna also build the whole the, the case for this and the, the uh, display and also some switches that I have to use to put the power on to my motor and that kind of stuff so that's I'm also gonna design that and print that out but the thing is with the gears to make it with the handle I can make a lot bigger movement so it's more more subtle and not just like I can do it because yeah you know basic stuff so I'm really excited about designing that and printing it out and testing it it's gonna be really cool also exciting thing 
everything is exciting today. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a new harbor for my boat. It's gonna be a lot closer than it's been till today for the last two, two summers. To walk around five minutes, if not even that. So pretty close out here. There's the place where my boat is gonna be, probably. I hope so. Yeah. And now it's also on this, you can see what's the situation here in Finland. So no boats, just cold and icy and wintry. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, you know, the usual stuff. And yeah, see you again the next one. Bye-bye.